All right, today's adventure is unboxing the Holosun HS507 Charlie X2 ACSS. So, Dimitri at Primary Arms, I guess, partnered up with Holosun, and uh, they're using uh, his ACSS reticle in this red dot. There was a couple videos on YouTube about pre-buying uh, around uh, December... I don't know, 12, 12th or 15th, somewhere in between there. These videos came up if you wanted to pre-order these and they would be shipped out by February. I pre-ordered mine on 15 December and man, I got it already. Um, you know, it's uh, the 22nd, I think is today or the 23rd. Uh, 23rd, I think today is. But uh, yeah, I got mine before Christmas already. So I wanted to go ahead and do a quick unboxing of it. This isn't going to be a review, it's just going to be a quick unboxing to let you know what these things come with. If you want to see the overall capabilities of this thing, check out uh, Tactical Rifleman's video on it. He did uh, a good video that kind of shows the capabilities of this red dot. Well, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and open it up. It's got a plastic box, which I thought was kind of cool. I mean, is it overkill? Yeah, but, I mean, you can repurpose this box, so I thought that was neat, and I'll definitely do that, end up repurposing it. But again, this is a, uh, I guess, a joint adventure, uh, adventure from uh, Primary Arms and, and Holosun. I don't know the exact relationship, but I guess you could say Dimitri is the is the guy that did the, the ACSS reticle, so. But what's special about this reticle is it's got a, Larger cir circular illuminated area that helps you align and not have to chase the dot uh, like you do on some red dots. So that's pretty cool. They call it the ACSS Vulcan reticle. And of course, here's the manual. Here's some pictures kind of depicting, you know, when you see this. Uh, in your window, you know that your dot is below, and then if you see the curving upwards, of course, you know your dot is, is up higher. Again, if you go to Tactical Rifleman, he did a great video on it. I'm not going to copy what he did. Uh, check it out. Here's the manual. Comes with uh, some, uh, some Vibratite. Uh, similar or to Loctite and a cleaning cloth. Alright. Got a tool. Hollow Sun tool. Here's a, the meat and potatoes. So you got the actual uh, Picatinny mount and then the side itself. Very robust. Now because it's already on it has the uh, the shake awake or the auto on off technology, which for me in any type of home defense or uh, uh, a uh, emergency situation, that's what you want. And uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm putting my finger over the solar, and then I notice that the LED dims down a little bit. I don't. And then when I take my finger off, of course it brightens up. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. We will try to get a, a view of it. Uh, let's see. Boy, that ring and that dot looks so thick. It does not look like that in, uh, in real life. But what I wanted to show was if I cover, yeah, if I cover the solar panel, of course it dims down a little bit which is telling me that it is drawing from the solar cell right now and not the battery. This is to unscrew the battery. All right. There it is. It's got a little lip on it. You got to pull it out and the tray comes out. It's solid. That tray. There you go. So there's your battery tray, and it's metal too. It's pretty solid. 
Oh, okay. So without a battery in it, it, it does not turn on. So all the power went off. Interesting. Okay. So you do have to have a battery tray in there. Okay. Power's on. Yeah. Again, uh, 50, it's like 50,000 or 55,000 hour. So that plus the solar panel, man, that's, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I have the Sig Romeo One. Let's give you kind of a size comparison. The hood is definitely thicker. It's more robust, which I like that. It's pretty beefy. It has an RMR footprint which makes it a little wider than some red dots. <clears throat> so I have the Swamp Fox King Slayer on my CZ Scorpion. This kind of gives you an idea what you're looking at. Again, the... Uh, the hood is even thicker on the on the hollow sun. So here's a view of the Swamp Fox Justice with the iron side extra cover on it next to the new hollow sun. The hollow sun's still thicker. This is just really beefy. But hopefully this will just give you an idea of what it looks like. What to expect. I'm, uh, I'm kind of excited to play around with it. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on it yet. Or put, put it on yet. But uh, it'll probably go on the Scorpion at first. So one thing I will say, using this on an SBR, because of the eye relief, you are going to see that circle within your field of view. Whereas if you're using it as a pistol further out, that's when the circle gets larger and you don't really see it. Um, being that I put this on my SBR, that circle is going to be in the sight picture the whole time. Uh, where if you look at the the other videos on it, where they've had it on a pistol, it's a better aiming device where you're not hunting for the dot. Once I get a, a, a pistol with a milled slide, I will most likely put this on that pistol. But for now, I'm just going to shoot it with the, on the, my CZ and uh, try it out. Thanks for watching and uh, Merry Christmas.